Yo, what's going on guys? How you doing? Arax here, welcome to a Nintendo Switch video. Yes, this is real. This is not a drill. This is not like a cornflake box with like Switch packaging printed on top. This is the real thing. Massive shout out to Nintendo UK for sending it to me early so I can get a chance to check it out. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at the box. Now, despite the fact that you guys have probably seen some leaked stuff online of certain outlets showing more than they should have done, I'm not going to name names, no, I'm going to link things to try and bring attention to it. Point is, on this channel we do things by the book and today I'm only allowed to show you guys the outside of the box. Next week we can take a look at the inside and of course all the cool stuff that is associated with that. So, for the time being, Let's take a look at the box. If you do enjoy this, you're super hyped, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know if you guys are hyped for Switch. By the time I'm making this video, we are 14 days away, that is two weeks. So excited, but let's take a look. So starting on the front of the box, of course, top left-hand corner, we have the Nintendo Switch logo. And then this is the neon version of Nintendo Switch. Of course, there are two configurations. There is the gray one and the neon one. I absolutely love the bright colors, the blue and the red. I've actually ordered the inverse set of Joy-Cons on Amazon, so that way when they arrive on launch day, I will get two reds and two blues, and I can then have red either side of my Nintendo Switch, which is, to be honest, the thing that I really want to do, because red is one of my favorite colors. But also on top of that, we get to see the dock with the Switch being pulled out. You guys have seen this picture time and time again. This is one of the main promotional pictures, but the fact that it's actually on the box right here, right now, is super exciting. Jumping over to the back, we of course get to see the Nintendo Switch in the portable configuration. So the Joy-Cons are being slid on the side. And this is of course how you can play it on the go. Don't forget that when you're playing on the go, it can of course last anywhere between three to six hours, depending on the game that you're playing. So three being kind of an average for Zelda. And of course also whilst in portable mode, as we know from hands-on events and whatnot, it charges via USB-C. But this is how you're gonna be playing on the go. Then jumping over to the left hand side, this is where you have all of the kind of details that are inside. So it comes with, of course, number one, the Nintendo Switch console. Two and three are left and right Joy-Cons. It also comes with number four, which is the Nintendo Switch AC adapter. Number five is, of course, the dock. So if you want to connect it to your TV, you put the Switch in this, connect it via an HDMI cable, and of course, that's how it goes from there. Number six is the Joy-Con grip. Now, do bear in mind, this is the one that comes with the console. This is not the charging Joy-Con grip. So if you do want to be able to put your Joy-Cons in the side and charge while you play, you're going to need to buy a separate accessory for that. But don't forget, as I said in the previous video, the Joy-Cons, each of them individually, last about 20 hours. So you're not necessarily going to need that because I'm pretty sure at some point between that 20 hour, you're going to take some sort of break. So provided you either reconnect them to the main system and dock it, or plug in a USB-C charger if you are in portable mode, then they will of course also be charging. On top of that, you get two Joy-Con straps. So if you are going to be playing anything like 1-2 Switch and sort of swinging it around, then you might want to use those so you don't throw them. And then finally, an HDMI cable, a high-speed HDMI cable, no less. And then after that, flipping over to the other side, we of course get a few more promotional pictures again, seeing just how awesome the neon version looks. The top picture is, of course, it being taken out of the dock. The next picture, of course, being the home console configuration, so the Switch is docked, the Joy-Cons are in the grip, and you can, of course, play it feeling like a pro controller. On the middle, we have the portable configuration, and then on the bottom left, we have the multiplayer configuration, where, of course, you can stand the system up and hold the Joy-Cons either side and sort of play things like Mario Kart and stuff once it comes out. And then finally, the last picture are the two Joy-Cons with the Joy-Con straps, so that way you can hold them again safely when playing motion games. And that's pretty much it for the box. The other side do, of course, contain the usual sort of technical warnings and whatnot, your sort of like health and safety stuff. But besides that, that is pretty much it. That was a quick look at the outside of the box. Apologies, I know this is like the absolute biggest tease in the world. I want to be able to dive straight into it right now as well. However, this officially marks the start of my complete Nintendo Switch coverage. Of course, I've been covering it prior to this anyway from like hands-on events and trailers and news and stuff, but now I have it myself, it means we can start diving into all the stuff you guys want to know about. So next week, keep your eyes peeled because there will be lots of stuff on the channel. I can't say exactly when just yet, but keep a lock to the channel. If you guys want to see stuff from Switch, then stay tuned. There's going to be lots of stuff coming. At the moment, I don't have any games, so we're talking about the system, but hopefully games will arrive at some point as well, and then we can, of course, talk about Zelda, 
one two switch bomberman all that stuff loads of exciting stuff to come you guys can probably tell i'm a little bit excited so for the time being that's pretty much it hopefully you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did comment down below let me know how hyped you guys are and thanks for watching take it easy catch you next time peace out